As promised, we're back. Here we'll show you how to do a calculation in Excel to get the change in carbon dioxide per decade for the different intervals. First, I'm going to make this column a little bit wider and this column a little bit wider so that I can put in three different intervals, 1800 to 1960, 1960 to 1990, and 1990 to 20, 2010. Okay, now over here I'm going to do a calculation. I want to put in the numerator, I want to put the difference in carbon dioxide values, and notice that I'm just clicking on the cells that I want to use in the calculation, and then I'm going to divide that by the decades. I could figure out that this is 16 decades, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take this number minus this number. Okay, so that's the total number of years. And then to get it in decades, I'll put some extra brackets here and divide by 10. And this gives me an increase or a change of carbon dioxide of 2.5 parts per million per decade. I'll go ahead and put that up here. CO2 change in parts per million per decade. It's the decadal change. And I'll go ahead and make this column just a little wider too. But the advantage of doing this complicated formula here well, seemingly complicated formula. It's actually pretty easy, just this cell minus this cell, all divided by these two cells divided by 10. I have to be careful with the brackets, though, otherwise I'll make a mistake. But I can now copy that formula down, and it works perfectly. Notice how I did that is I got into the lower right-hand corner and then drug it down. The cursor is wide and, and hollow here and solid there. Now I can make a graph of the interval and the change, carbon dioxide change for that interval. So I'll just do this and go up here to insert and in this case I'll go, go ahead and do a column chart and there you have it. The other thing I'll do is I'll get rid of this legend because that's not really needed here. And then again, I'll go to layout and put my titles in for especially the vertical axis. The, the horizontal, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. But this would be the CO2 change. And again, in units of parts per million per decade. Okay, and there's a nice graph highlighting things. Good luck.